Hello, good morning. I'm Aptar from Open University, Malaysia. Today we are talking about a very important topic for open distance learning, that is uh, mobile learning for open distance learning, future trends. And uh, to, with us, uh -huh. we have a very prominent professor who has been researching in mobile learning. And her, she is none other than Tyrim Lee from Korea. And we would like her to give us a brief introduction of herself. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. And my name is Tyrim Lee from Korean National Open University. Actually, I'm a biostatistician. But uh, I work at KNOU 28 years, and uh, my first project of computer-based material start from 1986. So uh, during that time, I have very uh, many uh, authoring tools, and uh, my first project is an uh, Apple computer, 8-bit Apple computer, 25-inch diskette for one chapter. It was my first project. So after that, there, there are many uh, 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 very helpful authoring tool. I uh, develop many kinds of uh, computer-based educational material for teaching statistics, that's it. So uh, these days, uh, so mobile learning is very popular and I'm very absorbed in the mobile learning. Could you just uh, briefly give us a history of mobile learning? Uh, like what are the, you know, in the world? Uh -huh. So uh, in my university in Korea, we kicked off the uh, mobile learning at December of 2008. So we can start uh, mobile learning only to transfer from the TV lecture to transfer to the mobile and deliver it to the student, you know. Mm -hmm. So every student can have a mobile learning in the subway, in the playground, mm -hmm. in a cafe, and as they have a spare time, they can enjoy and they can have a class with mobile. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. that's in Korea. Mm -hmm. Could you also elaborate a little bit more about the development of mobile learning? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How it started and what mooted mm -hmm. the idea for using mobile learning for education? As you know, the, it is time uh, the uh, very highly advanced ICT surrounded us, you know. Mm -hmm. Among that various kinds of uh, device, ICT device, mm -hmm. mobile is our interesting media. Because uh, as you know that uh, my uh, three kids live together with the mobile and sleep together with the mobile mm -hmm. and play together mobile mm -hmm. with their friends. Mm -hmm. So they communicate with friends and with a, a teacher and something like that. So mm -hmm. uh, we can use it mobile as a very key media for the educational device, you know. Mm. So I would like to uh, the develop that kinds of uh, educational media. We can use the mobile. Mm. So because it's very closely related to our daily life. Mm -hmm. it, you know, in these days without mobile, we can't do anything. We cannot connect with any uh, person in academic staff or with the student mm -hmm. or social, any other society people. So uh, mobile is very important, uh, the daily life, like uh, toothpaste, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think it is a good time to mm -hmm. use in, especially in ODL. Mm -hmm. We can use it as a uh, new media for the education, I think. There is a difference in usage of mobile devices for education in the developed and developing countries. Uh -huh. So could you highlight to us uh, some of those? Uh -huh. You know, the, uh, I have one conference, AAC, there. Mm -hmm. One uh, present there the, in India is that they are literate people, the, especially focusing on women in mm -hmm. urban area. They have a mobile already, very simple one, mm -hmm. uh -huh, $10 mobile, you know. Say the project, they mm -hmm. deliver it to the, uh, the many people, and they give uh, uh, the teaching the, uh, the sentence and the grammar, mm -hmm. and they feedback directly. Immediately, mm. that is good. a good media mm. in a, even mm. a very basic uh, level of education field. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, I think it is. It can be used various kinds of level mm. for the educational uh, the uh, material. You know, mm -hmm. so I think so. There, I heard um, KNOU is doing some uh, high level. Uh, mobile applications. You have built some good still structures. Still studying. Still studying. Still studying. You're uh -huh. still researching into it. Uh -huh. So has it become a policy to be used uh, by the students, or is it still at the research place? Uh -huh. You know, first of all, uh, our university government have a special MOU 
with the Korean biggest telephone company, KT. Okay. Because when you have a download one movie, you have to charge very many, much money mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, we have a special MOU. So each student pay for the uh, telephone fee only monthly $20, unlimited download. Mm -hmm. That is the first very important thing. Mm -hmm. After that, every student can download our class by the mobile. So there is a very frequently they can use as they please, you know. Mm. Without that kind of uh, some uh, condition, mm. it is very difficult job for any university can choose mm. mobile as a new media. In, Ma in Open University Malaysia, right. we yeah. are facing that problem because uh, our students uh -huh. Uh, do not want to really use mm -hmm. and open the university also have to invest a lot of money you know just to use the mobile technology right but so basic circumstance is very important, important. Mm, so it's a le government level mm. and the KT is a government company there mm. so they can negotiate with our university government you know mm. so there is a already setting that kinds of condition, special mm. MOU, and mm. after that we can develop. And uh, we would like to the e-learning contents transfer to the mobile, mm. but it is another the uh, system. Mm. So we need much budget project um, money and uh, manpower mm. who are specially uh, specialized in the mobile. Mm. So it is another new uh, the project there, you know. So um, we keep going on. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh -huh. Could we uh, maybe talk a little bit about the pedagogy for mobile learning? Uh -huh. could, uh, could you elaborate like if there are any pedagogical models for mobile learning? Because, um, because of the nature of the uh, mobile telephone. Mm -hmm. So maybe we have to tune a little bit more on the kind of pedagogical uh, structures that we are using. Right, very could important, you, you? Yeah, very important. Yeah, you might. know, the, when you use a TV lecture, it's uh, basically 30 minutes, you know, mm. one basket. Mm. But when we choose the uh, mobile, we make a small segment unit. Mm. No one unit is uh, 10 minutes, within 10 minutes. Mm. We segment, make a very small segment, mm -hmm. and uh, it, uh, it divide for, uh, deliver for them. They can choose as they please, mm -hmm. partly, you know, not a whole uh, lecture. Mm. When we develop e-learning e contents or TV lecture, mm. we whole one, you yes. know. Yes. But in the mobile, we need a segment, small segment. Mm. And also, we have a limitation of the memory. So we cannot mm. use uh, fluently of the uh, video file, mm. or the flush. Mm. They need a heavy memory. Mm. So we reduced, mm. we minimized that mm. kind of way. Mm. So it is another approach for that, uh, good for the mobile learning there. So in the educational par uh, paradigm, mm. I, I think it, is, uh, it will be changed, you know. So actually, I'm not an educational technologist. Even that, I think it is uh, another approach we have to do that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we evaluate and what the students uh, the need mm -hmm. and how they uh, satisfied about mobile learning. Mm -hmm. So the mm -hmm. physically the screen size is very small. small. That is a very mm -hmm. big problem. <laughs> they, we, they can't readable, you know. Yeah. So we can uh, consider about how many lines, how yes. many characters in one yes. window there. Yes. So that is a very detailed one. But then uh, basically the educational paradigm should be uh, adopted, should be as uh, customized for mm. the mobile learning, I think. Mm. Okay, maybe uh, you could share some uh, research about mobile learning that uh -huh. shows that yeah, that is the way to move on with mm -hmm. mobile learning. Or mm -hmm. are there some contradictions in the use of mobile for learning? Mm -hmm. Could you share some research uh, that um, you, you are working on in mobile we, learning? Oh, we still uh, survey and evaluation, but okay. we do not have a still not yet a final results. You know. Okay. So. Um, in the future, we would like to, uh, uh, every semester we evaluate what they think okay. and uh, student side and uh, 
professor side, what mm. they need and mm. what is their some unsatisfaction. Great, so, great. Uh, that's uh, important. Right. So I think that's important that you are going to start the research now. That you have built the structure. Right. You want to start the research to see uh -huh. whether there are any co feedback that can be given to you. Right. In your mind, uh -huh. do you think students will adopt uh, mobile uh -huh. for, is it, are we talking about telephone only or are we talking about other uh, like mobile device. devices? You know, the, uh, I think that de by the definition of mobile, you know, mobile device uh, include the uh, PDA mm. and uh, iPad. iPad. Is it the yeah, iPad? iPad and mm. mobile also. Okay. So very broad concept. So it's you know? okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so that's not a bad uh, one to start. all the mobile <laughs> okay. device, uh, you know. Okay. So uh, we change our mind. The only mobile is not. Yeah. Mobile learning is very broad concept mm. defined like that. With the um, amount of um, uh, tools that are available now, mm -hmm. mm, we may be able to take off mobile learning quite far. Do you yeah. think so? Oh, I think in Korean situation, you know, so these days a very highly advanced mobile. Mm. So a little old one is free, free form, you know, mm -hmm. when they uh, registration, mm. they buy it. The no no charge for the mm. kit, so mm. I think it is a good way and it's very easy and is a very big way go straight with that kinds of uh, mobile device you know. Mm. So I mentioned before to India there is a ten dollar mobile mm. phone only for a simple function mm. for only for the teaching and uh, response from the mm. learner. I think it is a uh, it can available I think. Mm. So, um, uh, but mm -mm. but then the challenge, as you mentioned earlier, uh -huh. is the monthly uh, re right. repayment that uh -huh. with, with the governments have to discuss with the telephone companies. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yes, because that's the major challenge. Then you, you can get the tool for ten uh, dollars, uh -huh. but monthly charges will be high. Oh, uh, of course. in other countries, yes, but in yeah. Korea, yeah. you got no problem. Said, uh, Twenty dollars is yes. very cheap. Yes, yeah. But in other countries, that might be an issue. Right, right. So, if other countries, open universities, would like to choose that kinds of mobile learning uh, paradigm, they solved that problem. <laughs> yeah. I think <laughs> it's right. very important. Important, and yeah. also the uh, uh, the very strong broadband support for them. Mm. And also, we need the uh, LMS system for the support for the mobile learning there. Do you have one uh, LMS system for mobile Yeah, learning? we invest much budget for the setting the system there. So mm. these days, uh, we core with the telephone company counterparts, you know. Mm. So we uh, spend a matching fund for develop that kinds of basic system, basic infra system there. Okay, yeah. that is re uh, this is very revealing for, at least maybe for our audience, that uh -huh. um, to invest in uh, mobile uh, learning, mm -hmm. that the governments must, you know, discuss mm -hmm. with the telephone companies. Yeah. Um, okay, if you have one or two tips more to give for mobile learning, mm -hmm. uh, to adoption of mobile learning, mm -hmm. what, what would that be for our audience? Uh, as you know that uh, we cannot uh, go reverse to the river, river to flow and the river like this way, we can follow them, you know. Our target learner, the young g digital generation, prefer the, the mobile than TV, you know. It's uh, practical nowadays, uh, you know, the, there is a stream there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think in the future we can use it as a very fruitful, the uh, uh, educational device mm. than the gaming, you know. Mm -hmm. So we can motivate. We give uh, motivation for them mm. to use it at educational tour, I think. Mm. So in the future, it will be a good uh, product mm. and in an educational stance, mm. especially in the ODL. It will mm. be a good function, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think that, that, is, that is good. That was uh -huh. a good one that you gave us. 
Okay, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, we had have a fruitful uh, discussion on uh, mobile learning yeah. and uh, how uh, educational institutions, especially open distance learning institutions, can mm -hmm. um, adopt uh, mobile technology. Mm -hmm. And I think the most crucial two things that uh -huh. uh, Professor Tyreem has mentioned, mm -hmm. one is for the governments to talk to the mobile learning providers mm -hmm. and number two to ensure that we have a high broadband uh, in the country. Mm -hmm. So Professor Tarim, do you have anything more that you would like to add before we end the session? Another oh, no, no, one thing, yeah, last one. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, uh, in our university still register to the, this kinds of ICT adaptation. Rigid. Ah, yeah, re okay. Rigid. Rigid. Okay. <laughs> oh, resist. So, uh, yeah. Resist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, there are the, the, the barrier, you know, computer barrier, ICT barrier, I think. Huh? Could you just briefly explain to us uh, what was uh, in the mobile? Uh -huh. And uh, it's a very simple one. In the first stage, you know, university, uh, we make a uh, a TV lecture in our uh, uh, digital media center and uh, it is transferred to the mobile. Okay. So uh, we call that the campus on hand. Uh, they can okay. use, uh, they can have a class with on hand mobile phone there. I will show the uh, real process using the how they have a mobile class there. So first time they have uh, put in their ID and password for the registration they are the he or she is a real student or not. And uh, this one is academic information. And this is uh, uh, some, uh, the mobile class there. It's the three button there. And uh, there is a list of subject here. And they have uh, choose that one, what department. And after that, uh, what uh, you know, department here. And uh, what grade and choose that and uh, after the what subject you know, what course they choose this one and after that they what chapter they want to have a class they choose that like that and after that they can have uh, our server our university server connected with the KT server deliver the class to this mobile there so students can have uh, this kinds of uh, class so we can see the uh, old uh, lecture here and you know, with a chart and explain there and uh, uh, also the uh, that kinds of a video file inside there so they can enjoy the, uh, this uh, mobile class. Is this uh, mobile oh. uh, technology used more for your adult learners or or the camp students on campus? Mm -hmm. Are they for the part-time learners or mm -hmm. for the full-time learners? It's a full-time learners, so uh, our universities uh, range from 20 to the 70. It's very broad, you know, the, the age, range. Uh -huh. So everyone, they can use a mobile, they can have a class there. Uh, okay. uh -huh. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think it is very successful. And uh, but sometimes I mentioned before that, that they have to change their mobile, more money to give them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they can use and when they have a spare time yeah. in the subway or in the bus or in the cafe, they have uh, after lunch, small time, they can have a class. We would like to change their mind from the analog to digital mind. Mm. We need that, you know. So how? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can show the uh, real function, and uh, we can show the how easily to handle, mm. and we can produce the educational contents with this way. Mm. So we would like to center for teaching and learning. So uh, we many workshop, many demonstration. Mm. It will be change their mind, you know. Mm. So there is very crucial, person, right? Training is crucial. Right. Ah. And uh, change the digital mind. mind. Okay? Change <laughs> from the analog to the digital. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. It was very, uh, nice, very nice of you to come and contribute your ideas uh -huh. uh, to this forum. Okay. <laughs>